This, this will be the first year for our staff that we have some older players coming back that will have the same role they had from the year before. A lot of times in previous seasons, uh, guys would have to step into a role, filling a spot vacated by someone else. We've got Ella Ellis, who was one of our better players last year and will need to be one of our better players this year. Max Lennox it was a player at the point guard last year and will need to play a lot of minutes for us this year. He knows what is expected and what we're trying to accomplish in our offense. Josh Herbeck uh, is a very accurate shooter from three-point range. He needs to continue to do that, and we're going to ask him to do the same thing he's done in the past, which is make open shots. Uh, and Jordan Springer has been a model of consistency for us, and his, his, uh, his improvement has been very steady, and we're expecting him to continue to do that this year. Simmons, handoff to Lennox. Ellis steps back for three. Well, with the LL size, he's got, you know he's probably about six 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 seven, uh, but he's got some guard, a lot of guard skills in terms of able to shoot the ball from the perimeter. He can put the ball on the floor, uh, finish for himself. He's added some bulk and some strength this year to get to the rim aggressively and finish. But he also has some vision that when he gets in there, if it's not a great look, he's able to share the basketball. And he's done a good job at each of the last few years. He's been one of our top assist leaders uh, for the team for the season. So um, he's a very versatile player. Uh, he has good size, he has athleticism, and, and he can really wreak some havoc on the defensive end when he's really engaged. He can be a very good defender. Way to the basket. Lennox again, driving on Wyatt, spinning to the hole, laying it in! One point four to go. Wyatt in desperation, and on we go to a second overtime. I think when you think of Max and you think of his freshman campaign, you don't get much further than the layup. Um, as many people talk about it, and the layup he made it to put the game into double overtime against Navy, uh, a spinning, whirling, left-handed ball that hung on the rim uh, longer than I was comfortable with the ball hanging. But, uh, you know, Max, Max had a good, solid freshman campaign. Uh, I think that he um, has some aspirations to, to improve on that, and, and we need him to if we want to make a jump up in our performance in the league. Uh, we need him to do a little bit more be more consistent and continue to be the solid defender that he is. Uh, so, you know, he understands what our challenges are, what our goals are, and what we need him to do to reach them. The turnover. Here comes Panko open in the corner for a three. He hits it three for three right now. Panko really killed the Bison at West Point last year in a 20-point arm. Yeah, Jason is a guy that's had, you know, a number of injuries throughout his career and, and you know, and maybe have some right now, quite frankly. But uh, Jason Panko... Uh, is a person that is completely embodies what we want our basketball players to be about. Um, he is a, he's a star in the classroom. Uh, he understands the team concept, embraces his role, even if it's not to the level he would like it to be, and really sets the example and leads by doing all the little things in practice all the time. And uh, I love Jason's attitude, his vision, and how hard he works, um, even though he's had a lot of setbacks with injuries. And uh, He's a guy that, whether he's on the court as a player or helping us as a, as a student assistant, Jason Panko uh, will impact this program, and he already has as a player, and uh, we're, we're excited to have Jason back for another year. And Army completes his first sweep over Navy since 1992, winning in double overtime. Storm the floor. Here they come, a sea of gray. How about that? Well, the long gray line, in a sense, broke ranks to rate from the bleachers. That's okay today, as Zach Spiker's Army Black Knights win it 69-63. Zach Spiker becoming the first Army head coach since Mike's, Mike Krzyzewski to win two, two star games. A great start to his career for Zach Spiker. Yeah, I think the first thing that comes to mind when you think about coaching at, at a place like West Point or at a service academy, uh, when you coach at a service academy, it is, first and foremost, it's a tremendous honor uh, to be around these young men that have made a decision uh, during this time that we're in as a country uh, to choose to come to West Point for all it's about and, and be a part of uh, the long gray line. And it's to know what they do and the decisions they make that are so mature for men their age, typically, uh, it's an honor to coach them. And really, it's a motivation factor for me and our staff we want to give these guys the absolute best four-year college basketball experience we could give them. 
And uh, we work very hard every day as a staff to do that, to make it one, enjoyable, two, uh, a winning experience, hopefully, and three, something that will help them when they go through uh, experiences down the road. They can lean back on how we handle situations and, and maneuver their scenarios successfully.